What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about the new game Pokemon Masters. We've been playing it a bunch and really enjoying it so far. So today we're going to talk about some tips that I think are very important for when you're starting off. Uh, so let's go through five things that you should definitely know when you start playing the new game Pokemon Masters. <laughs> So this tip might seem pretty obvious, but uh, there is a button on the top right which basically speeds up battle. You're going to definitely want to have this on full speed at all times. You know, there, there'll be battles like later on where you do want to sequence things correctly, um, but it'll be some time before you get there and honestly like the game will go kind of slow, especially in the beginning. So, you know, definitely always have this turned up max. You know whether you're auto battling or not the uh, just the amount of time you'll save even if there's optimizations to be made aren't really worth it for the time being so definitely always make sure to be going at full speed once you get access to the training area you're gonna definitely always want to make sure you complete all the super courses that you're able to so here if you take a quick look we have a tech strike super course tech uh, support and level up well actually even a coin one at the moment and these are basically time limited so if we go look at this uh, so this one will be available for the next 24 hours and I think all of them are kind of on the same similar cycle and you'll, essentially you can only do these a certain number of times so actually let's go back look at this one where I kind of already started so whatever level you can get up to so right now I'm able to complete uh, normal and I'll probably be able to complete this hard but you can only do each of them three times for the cycle so make sure you complete all of them so these are very similar to the regular courses only they give more rewards uh, but just that they're time limited and so actually it seems like right now there's a lot of them but I imagine there might be times when only one or two are available so definitely always make sure you take advantage of those and use up all of the uh, amount of times you can play them just to make sure you get reap all those rewards I would say definitely prioritize those over, you know, just filling in the resources that you actually need in the near term. So this tip is to essentially go through the main story as fast as possible. Even if you run to things uh, that become difficult, you know, don't feel you need to train all of your Pokemon to get to a good level before you start advancing again. And the reason being is that you continually to pick up new sync uh, pairs and you get all these different types so it will basically allow you to accomplish different things so let's say there are training uh, missions that you can't complete yet and you want to uh, level up certain Pokemon that aren't best suited for it basically just keep advancing through the story and you continue to collect free sync pairs that will give you the, the types that are optimal for completing the various training missions so as you can see, I'm still not done through the main story and I just picked up my second Brock Sync pair and we have quite a number of different types at this point to basically take on different missions. Before we move to the next tip, do me a favor, hit that like button down below and if you're not already subbed, definitely hit that sub button. Uh, really enjoying this game so we're going to be playing it a bunch so you can expect tons of more Pokemon Masters content to come and if you're not familiar with the channel, we also do tons of card openings and different things for the Pokemon TCG as well. So, all right, let's move on to the next tip. In my opinion, the most important training area is the level up ones. So, especially if you have the super course available, make sure you do that, max out all the attempts, like we talked about earlier. But uh, if you ever run into, you know, all of your stuff isn't level, high enough level, the level up course is where you're gonna wanna go. So it's these items that you're looking for, these, oh, wrong one, that's the support one. Essentially these book manual things. Basically we're gonna to wanna to grab as many of those as possible to level up. And basically like the difference between star one star and two star is like huge, and then obviously two to three stars as well. So make sure you always want to make sure you have plenty of level up books and constantly doing these super courses so you can level up your Pokemon on demand. All right, let's talk about auto battle for a little bit. So I'm actually going to intentionally slow this down just so see if we can, essentially auto battle is really useful. Always, I recommend always have it on, but when you're starting to face difficult battles, it might be a good idea to keep a close eye to it. There will be times where 
auto battle is not the most efficient and we're hoping we'll see if we get one but I'm look, hoping that the next close combat attack will bring the Pokemon down to uh, close to zero. Alright perfect. So at this point instead of waiting for the auto battle will actually wait for another three charges to use this attack but we're just going to use a one one bar to basically knock out the Pokemon. And actually this will occur more often than you, than you think. So my recommendation is run auto battle but then when you run into a situation where you know the thing is really weak and you can use a different attack to just do the finishing move you know def just switch off auto battle go to the slower speed and then pull that attack off one additional advantage of using the small attacks where you can just basically spam weaker attacks where it might not be the most efficient it'll basically bring your sync attack uh, online much quicker so something to keep in mind is auto battle it's really great especially when it comes to using all of your items however there will be times where you can just optimize your efficiency by sneaking in a, a finishing blow so keep an eye out for that and that's it for our first tips and tricks episode of Pokemon Masters and uh, definitely stay tuned for tomorrow we just got 3,000 gems which will allow us to do our first 10 summon and uh, so we'll have a video about that tomorrow so definitely stay tuned for that and that's it for today like comment and subscribe all down below I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace